Are you debating between the monday.com pro plan and enterprise plan? Let me share with you the three features that my clients are always requesting and why they decide to move to the enterprise plan. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Did you ever find yourself in a situation where you needed the values of one column to be copied to another board and you realized that you needed to do it manually? This is one feature that the enterprise version of monday.com has that I wanna walk you through. Basically, what we're doing is we're saving a column as a template. That template column will show up in the column center and we can use it on other boards. If you look at this task board here, you can see that we have a state column. For the sake of this example, I didn't list all the states because obviously it's a lot to write out. But imagine if you needed this state column on a few different boards. Each time you would have to manually enter in every single state. Really time consuming and kind of annoying. So what you can do is you can click on these three dots and you click on settings and you have save column as template. So I can change the name and I can add a description if I want and I just click save column as template. So right now I've saved this column and if I click plus because I wanna add another column, I can click on more columns and go to the column center. And when I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I have my templates from the account. I click add to board and you can see that I have state, okay, same column. And now you can see I have these four options which are the exact same options that are here. Pretty cool feature, right? Let me know if this is something you've ever felt that you needed. The second amazing feature about Enterprise that I wanted to talk about is different permission settings on a board. Now you can see here there's a person column and I'm assigned these two tasks. Many times people say, I want to have all of my tasks on a board, but I don't want other team members seeing all of the tasks. I only want people to see the tasks that are associated with them. So if you click on a board, you click on these three dots, board permissions, and you see here that you have different board permissions. Now this option, view only items that are assigned to users or created by them in the people column. So what this means is that if on this board there's 20 items and 10 are assigned to me, I am only gonna see those 10 items. Please keep in mind that if you are an owner of the board, it's different because an owner is not excluded. You can see it says it right here, board owners can view and edit everything. But let's just say I have a sales team and I don't want them to see everything. I can click on this permission settings and I can have all of my deals on one board, but each salesperson will only see the deal that they are associated with. They need to be marked as the person on the people column and then they will be able to see this. Let me know in the comments below if this is a scenario that you have ever encountered. The last thing that I want to talk about on enterprise, and this is a feature again that comes up over and over again, is the amount of connected board columns. If I click the plus button and I click connected boards, so I want to choose which boards I want to connect to. Now, as of now, the time of recording this video, you are allowed to connect 20 boards on your pro version. But if you are on enterprise, you're allowed to connect up to 60 boards. So that means you can have one high level board that connects to 60 low level boards. In summary, if you're debating between pro and enterprise and you're not sure which version you should consider, think about these three features. Number one, the ability to save a column as a template and use it on other boards. Number two, and this I think is actually, I would say the most important feature that I get people ask me about, the ability to have information on one board and people can only see the items assigned to them. And number three, the ability to connect to more than 20 boards. I hope this helped make your decision easier and feel free to reach out if you have any further questions or I can help you make this decision. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.